This week in the Missouri Senate, we review one of two new laws that will take effect next year. There were just more ideas being brought to the table. I think that the one-time money is obviously just that, and you will have to be cautious over the next few years in spending. Senate Bills 3 and 5 relates to Missouri's income tax. It was sent to the executive branch on September 29th and then signed into law on October 5th. Starting next year, Missouri's top individual income tax rate will drop to 4.9 percent from the current 5.3. The legislation also includes automatic triggers to reduce the top tax rate further if certain revenue thresholds are met. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Kayla Brodnam Columbia says during the extra legislative session, it was relatively easy to get to the final product. We both, I think, remained pretty optimistic that there was going to be an outcome, you know, two or three weeks ago, to your point. I'm not sure we knew exactly what the outcome was. It didn't end up that far from where we thought it was going to be. So it's a reasonable, measured way to put more money back in folks' pockets. But Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Independence reminds people the current state budget was built on one-time federal dollars. Even after doing the tax cut, we will still have billions of dollars to attack a lot of the issues that I think are important to us. Teacher pay, school bus transportation, foundation formula, making sure college tuition is affordable, things like that. So it's just about being vigilant over these next few years. But I do agree year to year, we do the best we can to forecast. We have been very successful in the last couple of years. Maybe four or five years down the road, the net gets removed and you could see a crunch or a pinch on spending in the state of Missouri. He adds he understands why some Missouri senators voted against Senate Bills 3 and 5. I think you can for the foreseeable future, and I think when you start forecasting outside of four or five years, it's hard for anybody to say what that might bring or might not bring. I also want to be abundantly clear and respect the people that voted no on the tax cut because I can also understand their opinion that we are falling short on some priorities here in the state of Missouri, and they felt like those priorities are more important and need to be addressed before we can get into cutting taxes. Senator Rowden also says they took this into account when creating Senate Bills 3 and 5. There is absolutely federal money coming in. There's no doubt about that. But even when you pull that back, there's still a surplus there and a pretty significant one. So the idea that we would take all of the surplus, which we clearly are not doing, not anywhere close to, and give it all back is certainly something I think a lot of people would have thought was irresponsible because of the reason you suggested. But to say that we can't do anything is disingenuous because they're actually, we are actually in a pretty strong position, even if you pull back that federal money. State statute dictates legislation that comes from an extra session becomes law in 90 days after the session adjourns, which was October 4th. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.